have at least some level of experience. Block 16 with the snake against Pure as Inkling. Quick controller select interlude. We're ready to begin. First back air and first blood goes to Pure. And I like already what Pure is doing with these landing bears. They do provide a decent amount of hit stun, but the second time he was just able to get a grab immediately after and already looks to be enjoying an early lead. Once again, another landing bear. Out of the range with that F smash though, and Fox 16 makes it back with the dash attack. Back on top of the platform, though. These are two characters who both will be relying on grenades, but very different types of grenades and in very different ways. Although great convert off of the grenade with the up tilt from Fox 16, pure out of a stock fairly early. Inkling is, of course, a middleweight, and unless you're one of the heavy characters in this game, you're almost certainly going to be dead in triple digits to any point of Snake's up tilt. Sitting out 116, 118%. Fox 16 can live for quite a while, especially given Snake's superior weight in this matchup. Bob dodge though lands. And once again, these back airs from Pura, they've been his most used move, I imagine, by far at this point. That's it, we'll trade from Fox 16. Still get to lose that first stock. The mortar will get him closer, but rolls right into the back throw. Unable to tech that. I believe that might have been untechable just from the slot bomb. And now Pura finally able to seal out that first dock about 100 seconds in. Lands on top of the Nikita, though. And had to be careful. That up smash, that mortar was just looming there, threatening him. And had to hold shield dwindle just enough for Fox 16 to get the dash attack in. Pura is already up to 131%. And another up tilt off of the Nikita that Nikita was just adding so much pressure even though it wasn't being controlled and he perhaps made a bit of a hasty jump instead of just going for a safer grab or shield. It's not up, not up tilt, not onto the shield rather, but around the shield. Another grenade in hand. And this is where Fox 16 can really put in the work. These grenade trades all this percent that's being tacked onto both players will only work in his favor since he already has a stock lead to play with. Had to shield out the Nikita though in the back door, we're gonna back off stage. This time the F-Smash will connect from Pura. You can tell Pura really wants an early kill. He just knows that he cannot play this trade game. Saying, what do I have to lose, especially now that Snake is putting on damage onto both players? Does get rid of the Cypher, has another one to get back, and air dodges safely. Although reads the normal getup with the up smash, and he's able to recharge Ink fully, being on the side platform already. Although once again, Fox 16, as soon as he has that full shield or anything close to it, He's just using it, and the C4, Pura was just not aware of where that was placed, and Fox 16 capitalized almost immediately. He's going to take game one. No matter how good his, his inkling is at low profiling, he just cannot get around an option that's been stuck onto the ground and placed seconds in advance. No change in the characters from either Fox or Pura, so on to game two. This time it looks like it's going to be Smashville. It's that Wild World soundtrack sets the tone for this battle. Fox 16 already with grenades in hand, so he's willing to play that same trade game, even though the percents are, you know, quite even to start, showing that he's not just doing it from advantage, he's doing it in all facets of his play.
this time. Another landing bear from Pura. Pura versus with a C4. So his momentum is going to be carried back onto stage, but once again into the waiting arms of Pura. It's slap bomb a bit too low. Attacks around that. Another up tilt from Snake will put Pure at 103%. If he can unstale this, this will kill. I'd have to imagine now. And there you see it, another up tilt just as Pure was running out of ink. And even at these low percents, up tilts are working like a charm for Fox 16. Whether he's getting the kill for not one of the spike there, a bit audacious, but Pure was off stage two, so going to escape unscathed. Good parry and one of the F smash. Uh, Snake's up smash has, or F smash rather, has a considerable amount of startup, so I'm not quite sure if Fox was willing to get all of that, but it does put on some shield pressure, so. A bit of silver lining there. Once again, he's caught high, but Fox 16 so far has been showing that he's been able to reverse his men momentum masterfully. But Pura with finally a landing aerial. And almost two minutes in, finally on the board. Being chased far off stage from Nikita, but goes in a full circle and makes it back. Read the roll with the up tilt as well. Fox 16 absolutely steamrolling through Pura. Just a panic option for Pura and all of a sudden Fox 16 is taking this from good to better. Another up tilt will pop him up. Up smack not gonna connect, but up air through the platform will. Of up airs, but the grenade does break up the combo. And already these prospects are looking so grim for Pura. Has to find a kill with a hard reader. Perhaps some sort of quick two frame. At least something to get Snake out of his second stock because right now the rage in the trades finally gets the snipe with the slap bomb. Have to imagine that it might be too little too late for the way Fox 16 has been able to play. Dash attack puts Pure up to 125. Goes to the right of the up smash, but just as that shield was dwindling, Ryan up with the up tilt. That is a JV2 for Fox 16.